Oh yeah, Black Sun in the hizzle, all oh, for shizzle dizzle. We got an excellent show here today. We got, once again, 3%. I'm going to go around counterclockwise, have everybody introduce themselves. So start with you, Chris. Thank you, Black Sun, Blood Agent, Georgia Security Force, 3%. Chris, you ain't masked up there? I'm masked up. Okay, okay, okay. To his right. Georgia Security Force, 3%. Rescue 914. Alright. Georgia 3, uh, Security Force, 3%. Country. That's alright. Georgia Security Force, 3%. Cowboy. Alright. Georgia Security Force, 3%. Anarchist Rogue. Alright. Country Crackers. Nasty mm -hmm. Nate. Alright. Country Crackers, I'm gonna have you come a little bit closer. Cause you, you kinda soft spoken there. <laughs> alright. I'm sorry, it again. Scorpion. Georgia yeah, yeah, yeah. Security Force, 3%. Scorpion. It's Kills on South Carolina Security Force, 3%. Commanding Officer. Alright. Delta 12, or just Delta, Georgia Security Force, 3%. Alright. Georgia Security Force, 3%. Blackout. Alright, gentlemen, alright. So, we got the Constitution over here. Now, I wanted to bring this up. Constitution, comparing it to the Sharia, Sharia law. Now, for those of you that are uh, out there in video land, if you've ever heard of the Declaration of Human Rights, the Constitution is the basis of it. So now, uh, I got some partners over in England, shout out to you, Dazzle, that uh, you can't comment or critique about the uh, Sharia law over in Europe. France, England, uh, I think I want to say Belgium. So, you know, um, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton has one of her uh, aides from uh, Saudi Arabia. Now, this is my question, gentlemen, because, you know, we got allies out there. Why are we allies with uh, Saudi Arabia who has Sharia law? Why, 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 why we? Is not a contradiction to the Constitution? Oh yeah, absolutely, man. I think, I think first and foremost, you got to concentrate on America, you know, the United States of America, and um, the 28 pages that were previously classified names Saudi Arabia as the main funder in 9/11, and FBI was. Uh, living in the same apartment as uh, the uh, perpetrators, the people training to do 9-11, and Saudi Arabia is uh, you know, a Sharia country, and you know where all the money is coming from Saudi Arabia to the United States, so we go over there and, and kiss their ass when we need to be focused on our own um, situation at home, but you know, the money, the arms, the oil, the mullahs, the, um, the war in Saudi Arabia now right. is spilling outside of its borders, it's... Uh, yeah, um, spilling I, I outside the borders. Sound like them a dime. Right, right. And you say spilling outside the borders. I know we got some uh, Syrians on their way here. You know, um, and I know we talked just recently about you know they're bringing you know mosques into Georgia, cemeteries. You know, uh, taking up whole sections. You know, and I want to just say this that they building compounds. Compounds. Uh -huh. What they building? Break that down, Scorpion. Break it down. That was just like the one you got up here in Commerce. You know, it's it's a compound. They they, it's where they live. That's where they stay. Right. You know, that's where they they train themselves there. You they know? train. Oh yeah. That's one. That's just one. Much. Yeah. It's, um, Al Jarud or Jamut, Al, whatever. They're they're kind of tied in with the uh, active. Uh, Compounds. Um, the the, the it was referring to the uh, 28 pages that were unclassified. Right. You know, Turkey had a coup. And, right. And they were blaming it in part for one of the those members that's currently living in Virginia. Right. And you know, this guy is a uh, straight up terrorist, and he's allowed to set up these compounds right, in he's an New imam. York. Right. Yeah, he's like yeah. imam, and he, you know, straight up terrorist and. You know, why do we have that inside of our borders? And you know, Turkey's—they got to have a reason to be saying. And, and I don't like Turkey either. Fuck Turkey. 
but I'm keeping up with the politics. Fuck turkey. <laughs> Fuck turkey. <laughs> and, um, you know, that, that joker needs to be exported. Or if now, his... no, no, that's a good question, because turkey said they had a warrant for his arrest. What was the reason why we didn't give him up? You know what I'm saying? I mean, when we, we want to get Julian Assange, but we don't want to get this guy. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what, what, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a little confused about this. Anybody can jump in, you know. I know kill zone, you know. I know he's he's got to be tied in with ISIS. He's got to be tied in with ra radicals operating from Virginia terrorists, within our terrorists, borders. Yeah. But he has influence in Pakistan, Afghanistan, and with um, you know, terrorists in uh, in Turkey and, and right on the border with Syria. They're all, you know, convert. They're all um, rising and converging, and they have a couple of uh, people right. in in that. Um, Islamic Jihad movement that Ca they caliphate. They the want to go to the caliphate. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You have to realize, like Saudi Arabia right. and Israel, they're like a long bloodline of families that have been in control for a while. Right. Um, I mean, just like you're saying, we're pouring dimes into Saudi Arabia, we shouldn't be pouring them into Israel either. I mean. Okay. Okay. It's. I mean, these are people. They ha own the Federal Banking Reserve. I mean, not just in our country. But in all these countries, we're targeting right. countries that don't have the Federal Reserve, like Iran and other oh, countries. Right, right, well, okay. If you notice, these countries <laughs> we're Saudi targeting, is a rich they're, they're not part yeah. of the Federal Reserve. But you look at Fox News, it's owned by Saudi Arabia and Israel. I mean, right. you look at, you trace the paper trail and everything back to the owners, that's basically who owns it. Man, they're feeding us all of our inform or supposed information, you know. They're they're basically got the people believing one thing when the I mean distracted. It's distractions, man. Um, okay. They pit the blacks against the whites, right. the Democrats against Republicans, and they all do it through the media. You know, it's like a simple brainwashing tool, man. I don't even watch the news anymore. Right, I don't either. I mean, yeah. I, the news I do watch is, is on the internet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah. Any as far as uh, any of the NBCs or CNNs, they all owned by, you know, I think uh, Soros, George Soros. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. and honestly, in Israel's defense, you know, they're on the front line right now of actual fighting with these terrorists, with jihad. Okay. And, um, you know, they've had to build walls, you know. They're right. the prime example of the way we should be protecting ourselves against a threat that is like jihad. Right. Um, or Islamic terrorism, or Islamic Sharia law, period. Right. You know, it doesn't mix. You know, it's oil and water Absolutely. to our constitution. Also, you brought up Soros. If you follow the paper trail, things lead back to him. He's funding the Black Lives Matter right, movement, he and he's also funding their opposition. It's just another example of how they pit people against it. It's yeah. divide and conquer. Right. Keep right. the but, people divided, you, know, you the, have them conquered. The Jews and the Muslims, they've been living in such close proximity for 2,000 years, like right in, in uh, Jerusalem. Like the city's divided. No, they haven't actually. Um, they brought the Jews over back in 42, man. That was they after the Holocaust, though. Yeah. Okay. yeah. You know, after they finally got their land back. The thing about the Jews, the Jewish people all together, is forever someone's been trying to kill them. Right, right, that's you right. Know? right. So oh, finally, the yeah. United Islam States has to done what it needed Good to point. do and given them their land back. The more they dig into the land, the more they find artifacts of King David, you now, know, which is huge. I want to ask uh, this question, uh, Killzone. Yeah. Israel's considered a secular nation, right? Yeah. <coughs> so then... Well, they are, they're, they're primarily Jewish. You know, but they're not going to hold you to the Ten Commandments of Moses based right. on their laws. Right, right. You know, they have their own constitution. They vote. You know, so they're okay. a lot like us when it comes well, to democracy. Doing right. That. Totally different than Saudi Arabia. Right, Saudi right. Arabia, we're allies with because, oh well, I guess they're good for money, or we can get something out of them. You know, but when it comes to Israel, we're, I think. Brother and sister, we're we're actually from the same <coughs> breed, you know. Right. As far as see, me and Killzone beg to differ on that opinion, but we've already yeah. talked about that. But see, that's another thing about Georgia the... Security Force. We all have our own opinions, but we're all accepting of each other. Yeah, so. but everybody's for the Constitution. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Right, yeah. and, and everybody yeah. is, is. That's is, why we're here. Right, 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 exactly. Right, right. Yeah. So, so you know, I, I like the Constitution being a stronghold, you know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of stuff in there that, like I said, and, and if Sharia law comes in with our allies, Saudi Arabia, if they, you know what I'm saying? It just, mm -hmm. it, it, to me, 
we, we talk about Bashar al-Assad in Syria doing, you know, human yeah. rights violation, but Saudi Arabia has the worst human rights on the fucking planet. Yeah, yeah. but you got to also look at what um, Israel's doing to Gaza. These right. people are fighting. They get some rockets every once in a while and shoot it at Israel. These, and they're getting bombed by drones, tanks, right. soldiers coming in and shooting their children. Of course these people are angry, you know? And a lot of them are <coughs> along the lines of Sharia law, like like me and you talked about earlier, I don't have a problem with Islam, but I hate Sharia law. You know? Yeah, but the thing about it, and, and people are like, oh, you're homo, uh, um, I'm sorry, uh, Islamophobic or xenophobic. Or you're anti-Semitic if you speak out against Israel in any right. way. Well, I'm, I mean, <laughs> I'm against any religion that tries to impose itself in government, yeah, so period. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Period. This government, this nation was formed because they were, they were, uh, yeah, leaving the Catholic oppression. You know what I'm That's saying? That's what the people forget nowadays, man. Separation of church, church and state. state right. And, and separation I'm a, of I'm Islam. I'm a strong supporter and, of that separation. It's like separation of Islam and the rest of the world. For 2,000 years, dialogue hadn't worked worth a, worth a damn. Yeah. You know, they, they raised the temple, the holiest temple, put the dome on top of it. And they've been... You know, you, you mentioned the quarrel between the Palestinians and the Israelis. They've been fighting for over 2,000 years, but now Israel, the smaller, um, is no longer the weaker. You know, they can defend their own borders, and they're trying to prevent, you know, Sharia and Islam from... That's what know, we're told, but the borders, what like, actually happened if you study the history. I'll show you some videos later, man, but yeah. <laughs> it's, it's the same thing that do, they're doing here, is they're, they're probing our yep. minds. Look at what they're doing in Europe. They've already... Moved line. in and dominated. Yeah. You know that whole freaking well, I've seen British a citizens fight, get really, assaulted in the street. You know, they're going to ban burkas or whatnot. <laughs> yeah. You know, right, we don't need right, to be right. a ban burka type of country. We need to be uh, a ban fucking radical Islam and you know or any Islam you know, from trying to get yeah. get a foothold inside of America with um, known terrorists um, working uh, behind the drapes to push that agenda forward. All the way into the uh, deep south, you know, into Georgia. This, and it, and it, they use this dialogue. Here's how good they are. Their psyops. You know, they kind of say that Jesus. We give Jesus um, credence. We give Jesus um, recognition in, in trying to, you know, trying to reach a common ground. But here's the word, and the word says that you, know, you have to. Jesus says, "Confess, you know, unto me, and I will confess unto the Father for you." So if you're a Muslim, you I would and you're a good person, you have a good conscience, and say, This is the route I want to take and if you and if you don't believe in that or subscribe to that, then you're kind of you can't use Jesus as your crutch to benefit your argument. Yeah, but I think what a lot of Muslims are misunderstanding that the separation of church and state peace. Because mm -hmm. just like we are it, it's embedded in us. If you American born, you know that constitution. You know what I'm saying? Even if you don't know it for word for word, you pretty much know the, the, the basic tenements. You know what I'm saying? Freedom of speech, you know, of course, right to bear arms. Um, I mean, we can go down the list, but... And Islam has its tenants. Man, yeah, yeah, basically... Yeah. And there's some weird tenants. Mm -hmm. It's totally it, weird, dude. Let's break down the tenets of, of, of Islam. I mean, like the Sharia. I mean, I know one of them's like they got crimes against Allah. And these crimes are, are, are punishable by the death penalty. I'm like, crimes well, how do you... Crimes against my imaginary friend. <laughs> right, like how do you uh, like how do you know you offended God or not? Oh, based on oh the Quran made by man-made book. Don't be a woman. Don't be a woman over there. Right. You decide to drive to the store. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Or walk down the street by yourself. Right. You or know? don't be accused of being a witch. There you go. Well, actually, yeah. Christians are still burning witches in Papua New Guinea. Just two years ago, they burned a woman alive for witchcraft. I mean. You look at all these religions. See, that's. I mean, I'm not religious. I'm, in, I'm, I'm practically an atheist, man. Right. So you know, and I, I believe in humanity. Yeah. You know, and being good to each other because our lives here are very short. That, you know, that's a very that's one unique case. But the beheadings, the stonings, oh yeah, right. The archaic. But look at history, man. That yeah. They try to push, you know, and they're going to push it through that mosque in Newton County. They're going everywhere that you hear that call, everywhere that right. everywhere that they congregate and locate, they got one goal in mind, you know, and it's to push well, it's Islam. a dominant. And it's if a they dominate don't, whatever and if nation they, they're if they in. Get on, if they go to Newton County next week and they say, We're just here to educate and Islam no. is friendly. We have coloring books and crayons for the kids. Then you have to go, you know, 
No, I mean, there there's some evil things going on there. Unless you and if you renounce them, then you can't call yourself a Muslim. But they'll renounce it just to try to keep that dialogue open. But it's time to be uh, intolerant to things we can no longer tolerate. Islam is a religion of peace only if you're a Muslim. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that. Plain as and well. simple. Yeah, it's just plain and simple, right? It's, it's, but it's you awesome. can say the same thing for Christians and Christians, right? Christianity yeah, too. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. But the thing I, I do, and it's funny that you say that, bro, because you know a lot of people don't know that Islam comes from Christianity. Yep. Just like Christianity does. comes from Judaism. Yep. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's all but, part of the same. Right. It's all right. But at the end mess. of the day, <laughs> you know, you can't base a law. Yeah. Whoa. At the end of the day, you gotta, you know, backtrack and trace the uh, history and trace the religions to get to the divine truth. So just looking at it from a, a conscious point of view, putting the two things in the scale, even if I was like new to yeah, the world it, and it was like Christianity and Islam and, and tell me all about it, just ha having a moral compass, I would go, this sounds good and this sounds kind of uh, not well, good for people. Let, let me say this. All that stuff, whether it be the Quran, the Torah, the Dead Sea Scrolls and they're keeping the guys, I, I don't let them all. And all those are based on a belief. You know what I'm saying? So you have to choose to believe it. I can tell everybody right here, I got a pink unicorn in the country of my car that spits up out of those. It's but, up to y'all to believe that. But you, if you read the book of Daniel and the prophecy right. of Daniel in Syria will be removed from being a city, you're seeing, and, and it never, and it says, will be to indicate future times, it will be. And you're seeing it, you know, in the condition that it's in right now. Mm -hmm. Just this week, Russia, Turkey, Chinese, American, uh, no-fly zones, boots on the ground. Right, right. And the Bible says in like Revelations, or, no, not in Revelations, but in I think it's Daniel as well. They're gonna put hooks in our jaws and drag us to Armageddon. And in Syria, if if you want to um, get an idea of what the future is gonna look like. Look at Syria because in the Bible it says this is going to happen. It's like it's never idiot. been proved wrong. Well, that's why I like the Constitution here because it's based on actual trial and error. You know, these people, you know, the, the forefathers, they fled a, what I call a theocracy. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, okay, you know what I'm saying? We got to redo this in real time. Meaning we have, we have to, it's a living document meaning you know what i'm saying you go through trials and tribulations okay you know and that's why we got amendments and all that to even if the document is not perfect but you know you keep working at it but like if you got like god's or allah's word like how do i make amendments to that you know what i'm saying like, you can you have to just listen to their book and that's right. the difference between us you know exactly. and that's you know so much about islam that i don't like they're liars you know, they're using something that was a great piece of American, you know, we talked about it earlier. You know, right. they're using a great piece of American history, which is the Civil Rights Movement. Right. You know, it's a lot. You know, the Civil Rights Movement was awesome because it was real. You know, black people are really black. White people are really black. You know, Puerto Ricans are really Puerto Rican. Right. We're all different, but we're all still human. You know, the way you think, whether you're Christian, Buddhist, Muslim, you know, the way you think measures the character of the person you know what I mean right. um, they're using the same tactics that were used in the civil rights movement right I remember Killzone we talked about how Islam is not a race or a people but a dang ideology also I'd like to chime in that um, what the, what all has been said about Islam right now okay. Christians used to use the same tactic at once and they did. Catholic Church right like he said um, they throw Jesus out there to create a comfort zone you know right right the um, Catholic Church used to do the same thing. They invented Christmas, which was a pagan holiday right. originally. I mean, they they adopted a lot of pagan traditions to they make did. them comfortable to kind of mm -hmm. meld them into the religion as well. I'd take it to another degree and say it's more like conquest. You you replace uh, a people's tradition yeah. right. with something that is more in line with your own belief system that's gaining traction. Exactly. Uh, but like. But like if you want to keep it civil, the Constitution, like you says, gives um, you know freedom of religion, the the right to freedom of religion. With Islam, I would just argue that maybe it's not so much a religion as it is, by definition, a cult with religious, ideological, and political motives that they force upon other people. So when a civilian ram 
it is non-compatible and cannot occupy the same space as the Constitution. Right, and absolutely. A, in the spiritual religious realm, their their prophet is my antichrist. Their hidden imam mm -hmm. is my antichrist. Their yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, that's my uh, antichrist. There they go. The anti-pope with um, you know the Vatican. Yeah. And, you know, let him that have understanding, you know, count and know that it's number six six six. You can't rule out the Vatican. You can't rule out prophecy from Saint Malachi. A hundred popes given definitions and put it with the Bible and put it with. Um, you know, but somebody might argue that the the Vatican created the Bible three twenty five A.D. and the Council and the Nicaea. Quran, you know, yeah, they did right, right, right. So if I create a Let's just say a comic book character. Let's say Stan Lee, right? He made Deadpool, Spider-Man. No, Does he have the right to come back and change the characters or, you know, rewrite the whole story? I mean, you know, you got people making films now and they go to, you know... What I'm saying is that those men created that. And so if they change it, and they, they can do that. So they book. Yeah. I don't think they I'm changed it as much as just left a lot of things out. Because at that right. time, honestly, they, everybody was talking about the miraculous thing that happened with Jesus walking this earth. Right. You know? Everyone was wanting to be a disciple. Everyone was writing a book. So finally, you know, he said, you know, we got to put a stop to this and we've got to get everybody to read from the same text because we just can't let religion right. grow past government. And, um, right, right. you know, that's when he decided to call all the best that. people in and they laid mm -hmm. down certain books. And that's when you, now you can find other things like that they found a pot out in the desert. It had all kinds of lost books. It had the Book of Enoch in there. Right. You know, that's an awesome book. You know? But there are other books. Everyone was wanting to write about it. That's why we have the canon. Right. You know, that is what they did. But, but uh, kills on why even put religion into government? I mean, why is that even necessary? I think especially I think in a day like today. Religion is government. awesome when it's inside your hotel drawer. Right. You, you know right. what I mean? Okay. When when you have the opportunity to read it, right? That's the difference between us and Saudi Arabia, though. Right. You know, they've decided to take their religion and make it their law. Okay? We right. haven't done that. As a matter of fact, we've gone to the point all the way down to trying to take the Ten Commandments out of our courtrooms. It's foundation. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can't take it out of the foundation. Well, it shouldn't be in the courtrooms is what I'm saying. I mean, if you want complete separation of church and state, you shouldn't have the Ten Commandments in the courtroom in the first place because that's mixing... Church or state. Okay. But what happens? But what happens I mean, then when the government takes care of schools and then suddenly you silence your children to pray? That's a yeah. completely different story. Well, I agree with that too, man. But kids shouldn't be like. I mean, some yeah, schools. Yeah, but that would be following. Oh, I'm sorry, some schools in the south, or, or some like politicians are trying to put prayer in school, whether it's Christian or Muslim. A kid. My, I don't want my kid being forced to go pray to some Christian god or a Muslim. All or whatever, you know. See, I want my kid to grow up to think for theirself. See, Rogue yeah. makes a good point. Yeah. Make their own. If you, if you, now, Chris, he makes a very good point. Everybody, if you're saying that the Sharia is oppressive, and you know, what I'm saying it, it doesn't belong in a government. Now, we can argue and say that it's not in our government, but they're. Muslims that come over here, they're probably thinking, oh, well, you guys got Christianity in the government, so, I mean, how do you, yeah. you know, how, we how allow do you... one, we got to allow them all. Right, right. <laughs> but the game plan for them is to use the First Amendment, like Valerie Jarrett said, to gain a foothold for Islam. And we have to use the rules you know, to change the game. It was Valerie Jarrett or uh, Donald Trump, but Getting back to what you were saying, like earlier, it's like where where do we come from with religion? Where are we going with religion? Where where it uh, crosses the same path as government? I mean, but it shouldn't. Mm -hmm, but it, it does. And 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 they're pushing for a one world religion. That's why I think they're bringing um, the Vatican and the Catholics and the popes going to the Middle East, and you know, he's going to show up. In the you know, religion, all religion goes against the Constitution. You know that, right? All of it. Even all Christianity. <laughs> Even Christianity. Because the Constitution is based on a democracy. See, but I think Christian, Christian men... That's where I get into this argument with a lot of Christians. Is that They'll be like, this is 
a nation founded under Christianity. I'm a direct descendant of John Adams and John Quincy Adams. Uh, we, my family has like old letters from them, and they did not intend this to be a Christian nation in any way. They meant it to be a free Aren't nation where anybody can believe what, what they understand. want to believe, basically, you know. Right. And as long as it's not hurting somebody else, you know, which Sharia law would, you know. Right, and, and I don't think there would be no confusion because we got the documents right here. They're right here. And I don't see no Bible verses. I don't see no Quranic verse. I don't see You only see the mention of God in there one time. Nope. Hey, I've got something to say about government and religion. Okay. Um, see, first of all, you know, um, the, the government shouldn't uh, have any kind of force of power to tell anyone what they can or can't believe. I, I agree. You know what I mean? Um, secondly, religion shouldn't be a part of any government in any country or any state. That's right. Um, but it's the a government, control mechanism. The government was paid for by the people, right? Right. To serve the people. That's right. And to maintain the stability of the people. And that's it. But they're doing a lot more than what we want them to do. And that's because we're not stepping up and telling them no. Exactly. Yeah. So that's the problem. All right, so let, let's... let's Let's bring it to Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. Yeah. Now, I've talked to people here on, at, at, at the table, and a lot of people believe that they one and the same. Now, let me just say this. Um, the NRA backs Trump. Whether we believe he's part of the Illuminati or not, you know what I'm saying? So I think he would be closer to defending this right here because... The right to bear arms is, I mean, if we didn't have the right to bear arms, it's, we wouldn't we wouldn't even have this country. Mm -hmm. um, in the teeth of that piece of paper. Right, right. So I think at least we could hold Donald Trump to that. I mean, what, anybody got any comment on that? Or? I will. Okay, go ahead. I think people, when I was, I was going to run for uh, the House of Representatives. Okay. And I was going to try to run as libertarian or third party. Right. Because I'm tired of the two-tiered oligarchy. That's right. Yes. But people were telling me, in order to change the game, you got to play the game. And no. it's, it's an absolute truth. And you call yourself a third party, but I think Donald Trump, I think he is a third party candidate because he's anti-establishment. I agree with you on that. And he's running for the platform. That's the only thing I like about Trump. <laughs> yeah, I think he's an independent that, too. And that's what everybody freaking wanted. Yeah. That's what everybody freaking cried for for the last eight years until it happened. And then the haters, you know, I think I wish he was a little more uh, presidential or, uh, you know, more articulate. Yeah, I think, he's, I think but, he's perfect. You know, but uh, on the flip side, you know, um, Hillary Clinton is anti uh, Second Amendment. And, that's right. Um, you know, you, you get you get Hillary Clinton. I mean, just we ain't even done with Obama. I can't even begin to fathom uh, four years of Hillary Clinton. I mean, nice. if Trump wins, then I think the left is still going to lose their mind. But if Trump you know, holds to uh, what he's saying, um, I think he would be a, a, a great president. And somebody, it's time somebody comes up in an anti-political um, uh, correctness demeanor. And, you know, cause things, you know, jacked up, you know, Johnny on the spot. This is jacked up. Here's how you fix it. And it's the same thing that GSF is doing right here. We foresee problems and upholding the Constitution and the direction this country is going. And our solution is two to the chest, one to the head. It, you know, then let everything else unsort itself. But it, inside this perimeter, um, that's our remedy. But we hope that the uh, elections will yield somebody in the ballot box that will stop trying to s subvert the Constitution and removing it right. from being a constitutional republic and allowing terrorists to enter the hollow halls of government in you know, the House right. and the Senate right. and pervert it and make themselves rich. And I'm so sick of that system. And so people use that focus on the anti-two-tiered system. And then when you get Trump in there, it's like, oh, it's more, more of that same shit. I'm not, a, I'm not about the two-tiered system. I understand that. I'm looking at things as they are. 15 years from now, different story. Right here, right now, you can't have Hillary Clinton. you got to have Donald Trump. You know, and I, I would have to agree with you on that because why would the Republicans turn against Trump unless he's independent? 
You know what I'm saying? You got all these Republicans coming out. Oh, we're gonna vote for Hillary. And I'm like, well, well, okay, so that means that that means she served your your cause. You know what I'm saying? As part of the status quo. You know what I'm saying? Because I know a lot of people, and I always get into it with the Bernie Sanders people. You know, because you know he talked about political revolutionism. That he posed as an independent. I guess it's trying to get the independent. Right. Why? It's right. It's a socialist. Yeah, right. Socialist running for president. That he, he don't even a, believe <laughs> in this. <laughs> If you follow the um, history of the Clintons, though, a lot of people do kind of mysteriously commit suicide oh, when they oppose Hillary. And it's funny how Bernie just kind of was completely against her and then went to ad endorsing her, you know. Um, absolutely. And there's, I mean, one guy that opposed Hillary Clinton, he's found, he committed suicide by two gunshot wounds to the back of the head. Oh, the guy, the same guy that when they crashed a plane to, make yeah. sure he's dead. So not only yeah. did, did he die, the hitman died too. <laughs> yeah. Well, I tell you, but and and Julian Assange just released one of the uh, DNC, one of the head DNC guys that was killed in D.C. broad daylight. They were like, "Oh, it was a robbery," but they found his wallet on him. All this stuff, yeah. you know. And then Julian Assange said he's got some more surprises for Hillary, but you know, we don't wait. The, on... the guy with the EpiPen didn't he come up disappearing? The doctor who got a picture carrying around the EpiPen. Oh yeah, he ended up dead. Yeah, because break he... it down. Because they saw Hillary Clinton carrying around a catheter, a piss bag, you know, strapped around her leg, and that dude posed in the Secret Service with the uh, diabetes pen. And that story started gaining traction to question her health. Right. And, and then the doctor ends up missing. He might pop up, but I don't. At this rate, you know, uh, from uh, white water to uh, present day, um, there's a long freaking body, list of body count. Body count. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, the only one uh, that is gonna survive that body count is Julian Assange because he's in an embassy, and that'll just be too obvious. You know what I'm saying? And so people stone. in the grave so that they can make deals with Russia, so that they can make deals with the Middle East, so that they can subvert the Constitution to make us more in line and compliant with their global freaking agenda. So you you think uh, Vladimir Putin's part of that? He wants in a world war government also, or you think? He's actually kind of against all that shit, man. He's okay. Uh, real. It's just, I'm, it's, it's, I'm hardwired to be against Putin because I'm anti-communist, and you can argue that they're not communists now. Right, right. But, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna... I already was a capitalist, but... Uh, they're yeah. saying that it, you know, it's more in line with a capitalist, but I'd like to see some more direct, concrete proof. But what I do see in uh, Syria is that they're at at the uh, request of the Syrian government, and they're known to be bombing you know, terrorists and, you know, con and, con uh, and uh, sadly, uh, civilians in the process. They're not, their shit is not as accurate as our shit, but th it's like they're on the right side of the fight. And, right, right. And, and our, our government it may have been supplying uh, close air support for uh, ISIS and, and quote-unquote moderate rebels. In, in Syria, but Russia went in kicking ass, and now, now the United States is trying to step up because Donald Trump called him out. I'm like, I'll go in and I will snuff out fucking ISIS. Right. And the government right. has been pussyfooting around it, you know, for over you know, 20 years. Now. Well, they're making money off the proxy wars. And undeclared right. wars. They gotta do is go over there this piece of paper chaos. says you gotta declare war. We're boots on the ground in Syria. Mm -hmm. We didn't declare war in. Uh, Libya, we went in and killed Gaddafi, and we stayed over 90 days. Hillary went in there and killed Gaddafi. I'm sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm Hillary sorry. killed yeah. a lot of people. Oh, yeah. So, you know, if, if we're going to, we don't, we don't need to police the world until we unfuck ourselves. Exactly. Okay, okay. Sure, but you know that's the difference between America and Islam, right there. We got starving kids on our own you know, streets. We're not giving like what 30 trillion or 30 billion to Israel every year. I mean, we have. Oh, yeah, but killing ourselves. Yeah, yeah, but you guys say we got to do our own streets, but our streets are becoming the rest of the world now. I mean, we yeah. got all these open borders, so it's like we got to deal with whatever is going on in Israel, Syria, Russia. I don't care where really, we got to deal with it here too, because it's like coming to our front door. Yeah, it's the capital of the international, because it's very. I mean, right, right. That's what, and so that's why I'm thinking, you know, I'm saying, you know, people have to know this Constitution. Yeah. It's the best document in the world, you know. Yeah. And we're not out there trying to hang our flags in countries we take over. You know, we give it back to the government. We help them re true. rewrite a Constitution. We help them get the good people. 
Well, you know, we you select a leader. Yeah, we select them. We, we do, we do. You know, yeah. 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 But at the same time, it's, it's different than out. Islam coming in and just being like, hey, man, you, you have to accept our laws, take them over whole cities. and Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we got the way we go about it is completely different. Well, kill zone, I mean, let me play devil's advocate here. I mean, do we, I mean, you say we don't put our constitution in other countries, but I mean, to, in order to save human rights, it's like we got to. Ooh, well, yeah, See, 100%. Yeah, I mean, it'd be nice if we put a flag up, but we're not going to. Carpet you know, bomb the countries with constitutions and guns. You want what we got? Stay in your country and fight for what we got. Yeah. What's the difference between, you know, for Make it your own. going in there, you know, as a Christian, you go in, you're a missionary. Right. You know, you're trying to do humani humanitarian aid. You know, you're giving right. people water and you're walking up to their front doors and you're saying, hey, you know, you know about Jesus. You know, that's the difference between Christianity and Islam. Islam's going to come into your country and then force their laws on you. Right, right. That's religion. Now we're talking about government. That religion should never interfere with our constitution, which is our government. Right, you know, and right. I think the people that were before us, that came before us, they were highly enlightened, and they put together a document, a living document right. that we. Because yeah, they went through the tyranny, you know. Yeah, right. exactly. They, they the had tyranny. to. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That it's like we done it. forgot it yeah. at this point. Right, you know? right. It's time to remember, because if we don't, you know, that don't tread on me, you know, that's going to be real. I mean, it's not just going to be a flag. It's going to be something that we all have to remember again. Right. You know, when that came out, it meant something to the doors that were being knocked on. It's, right. it's not in our memory banks because it takes 200 years to unfold. Mm -hmm. and, and then, like last time we were on the arena, right. you know, we touched on like, slavery. And right. we touched on the horrors that, that the atrocities that humans have done to other humans. That's right. Which is in contradiction to the laws of nature. You don't see, you know, prey, you know, how to pray relationships I get, but, you know, you know, uh, birds of the same feather flock together. Mm -hmm. We're all humans, and, and and this document is like the starting point to perfecting. Right, the, right. Uh, that the that unity. Idea. Yeah. It's like a unity, you know. Well, see, one thing that this foretells, like you know, saying the forefathers, and, and even when the forefathers were here, they they weren't agreeing. Like you guys might have a disagreement with Israel and whatnot. Yeah. It was some things they weren't disagree. I mean, agreeing. Oh yeah, like Thomas Jefferson and John Adams had a big falling out. They were good friends. They had a big falling out, like towards the end, towards their deaths and stuff. But, yeah. Right, right. But you see, like letters back and forth between. If you just read letters back and forth between Thomas Jefferson and John Adams, right, you'll see how against religion. Period. Yeah, especially Christianity. Yeah. None of it. Yeah. They were. I mean, they were highly against Even it. Even Americans went uh, went against each other in the Civil War. They called the right. Bible. The South. For what? A dangerous doctrine. Oh, you know, because people what? kill each other over it. Well, that, that's oh. either you're, you believe in Lincoln's point of view or Jefferson's point of view. And no, Jefferson was way before Lincoln. Independence says you have the right to self-determination. If we break away and say the government is too tyrannical, we just want to do our own thing, I say you should be allowed to do that. You're free. You're a free person. Right. And Abraham Lincoln said you want to break away, you want to start up a year on... Uh, um, now you kill your purse. We are going to, and, and they use the, those conniving thieves and liars in, in D.C. and in government. Um, that, that, that was a new nation, newly formed nation, Confederate States of America, right. right? And they say, get your troops out of Sumner, but if you come in with your naval ships, we will consider that aggression. So normally there's a red line, like, if you use chemical weapons in Syria, the United States is going to come and kick your ass. Right, right. Now they're starting to smell some chemical weapons and shit, but they know. They they set the uh, trip wire, and they crossed it and set it off, you know, just like they did in the Civil War. They brought the ships down and didn't, you know, pull them out. They brought them in. South fired. Civil War. Um, right to self determination versus um, a country, you know held together at gunpoint and, and look at 200 not 200 years later but uh, fast forward to where we're at now you know, um, people are using history to solidify their points we've right. got to look at history to kind of get an idea of where we're going but the idea that 
you know, we the people, we have the ultimate power in this country. We are practically voiceless. And and what's filling the void? A, a bunch of crap that none of us here like, I would, I would assume. And, and, and it's going to become, uh, you know, since we're tied, you know, we're joined at the hip with the rest of the world. You know, we're not going to have time to perfect our own union because we're going to run around the uh, globe and fight undeclared wars and engage in regime change and, and pay off people with, and, and help enemies and, and weaken ourselves and, and run up debt that we can never pay. And it, it's, it's, in, it's working against this. Well, Chris, I would disagree with you in saying that the world's going to end up. I, I mean, I'm, I'm a paraphrase. I'm not going to say you said this, but you know, a lot of times we look at doom and gloom as the tyranny taking over, and I'm saying no, you, you can't. I mean, you got to break this down in a simple terms. This allows all people to speak. You know, what I'm saying we come to a council and we can all agree on you know freedom of speech. You know what I'm saying? As long as it's not threatening, you know, um, just just the freedoms. I can't Shut up. If we can't find... break away. Right, right. I'm, I'm with you on that. I mean, or like what we're talking about now. What if we have a convergence of war of morals and values, and it's you know, I don't want. You know, but based on what though? Based on what? Well, this is what holds us together. <laughs> right. But more people want to take away from it and say, I want to push. This ideological, put this ideological nah. belief into the mix. No, nah. but then they're breaking, they're, they're breaking the oath right here. They're breaking the oath. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that wanna, you know what I'm saying? Now I can understand certain amendments, but like, like let's just say, I don't know. Just give me one example. All right, one example. The the southern border is open. We're by law they're not allowed to come in, but it's an unarmed invasion. The government is tasked with securing the border and protecting us against invasion. That's true. Unarmed or unarmed. And all of these Mexicans that come across the border, they're going to be voters. They're getting $30,000 a year in welfare at the end of when they file their taxes back. You know, they don't they don't pay any taxes. Yeah, we're busing, flying, and bringing in uh, people from uh, Syria and other shithole countries. They come here, and, and, and we go there and try to export uh, the Constitutional Republic, and they hate us, and we give them all the money to do it. I'd say, if you're an enemy of America, you don't get any money. But, you know, what's the flip side? Well, how, do you, how do you determine that, though? Well, um... Because, you know, you had uh, the DNC, you had a, uh, I forgot the name of the guy, but he was basically talking to, uh, <laughs> and this made me laugh, talking to Donald Trump, talking about, I got a constitution right here, but he was a Muslim. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Of course, right. I mean, any any person with common sense know that the Constitution and, and the Sharia cannot coexist. Mm -hmm. Period. If we have to put together a list on what what uh, countries are hostile to America or don't have our best interests in mind, I think we could put together that list. That's yeah. true, but I think we put most of the world on that list. Too much. Much. We yeah. pissed everybody off. <laughs> so, no. hey, hey, not we. Well, yeah. how, well, how do we? Okay, but you you might have some. Uh, Let's say people that believe in American values, like maybe in I don't know Bahrain or or let's just say Palestine somewhere. I mean, how do we know that if that person is for or against? You know, what I'm saying the Constitution. I guess we gotta watch out for Hamas or Hezbollah to try to take them out. That or, or they they love us unconditionally. We love them unconditionally, like a people that come together of like mind. And it's not gonna be I'm paying you off. It's not gonna be. I'm kicking the government out and putting in our favorites. Killzone made a good point. He said Muslims, by the religion, are allowed to lie to people. Right. Break that down, Killzone. It's just in there. It's in there. It's in the book. You know. Well, look uh, at the you're Torah. An infidel. Look at the Torah by the Jews, man. They're allowed by their religion to kill anybody. I'm gonna be honest. When it, comes other, to, any, when, it, um, when it comes to Jews versus Islam, real talk, I'm gonna have to look at history real quick and see who appreciates what we've done for them. Yeah. Okay. You look at Iraq, who is full of Muslims. You look at Palestine, who's full of Muslim. We right. we fund the PLO more money than we than we would all be eating steak dinner for free. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Every right. night. You know, if we could have the money that we give to them back, okay? Who appreciates it? Who's using the money the right way? Israel or Iran? 
Israel's just... Well, we don't give money to Iran. They're Israel's under sanctions and all kinds like of crap. But we do give money to Palestine. Area. Palestine don't do nothing. Look, what have they given to the world? We made it. You know? This Constitution yes. says you have to have a majority to ratify a treaty. That's what it says. Obama says you have to have a majority to undo the treaty that I've done with Iran. And we dropped off $400 million to get sailors back you know, from the right. Iranians. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's weakness. Yeah. They, they, they want to they wanna exploit our weakness. You know, they want to they wanna take our money and they want to hurt us with our own money. They want to say, look how stupid they are. We want to take out their government, yet they still let us in our borders. That's stupid in itself. The Trojan horse wasn't allowed in the borders. They had to hide that shit to get in. We just freely let the Trojan horse in without even thinking about it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, it's, it's okay. 200 years, we've point. been free. We'll, we want you to enjoy our freedom, too. So come on in our borders. So, you know, go and go and do mass shootings because, you know, you're Islam and people don't want to, you know, agree with the way you want to feel, you know. Go ahead and go chop off that lady's head that you work with. Right. You know what I'm saying? I, they're ridiculous. They go forward you know? The What's the last Jewish person you saw come in, or even an American Christian, come into some workplace and just start lobbing off someone's head because they didn't agree with them? You know, right. it's Mercy inhumane. Killings. There's, oh, it's yeah. inhumane stuff. Honor happens. killings, honor killings. Yeah, they call it honor killings. It's ridiculous. Oh, and and spiritual cleansings is what right. they call it when they're doing it the whole nations at a time. Right. Yeah, right. who's going to use our money? You know, uh, and, and, and who's backing those people? A lot of people in our government, that's one thing I do like about Trump. Not to get off topic, but no, one thing I do up. like about Trump some is talk. he dealt with lobbyists. You know, he, he understands what it is to come in and out of that political field, right. talking to lobbyists, making sure that his people are talking to the lobbyists to make sure that that law gets passed. Granted, he, he knows the ins and outs. Politicians, they, they live off that shit. They live off of what money comes from their lobbyists to make a certain vote. You know, Trump don't live off that at all, you know, and so I think he'll get shit done. You know, but right. as far as these countries, man, and, you know, Islam's no joke. Islam isn't a joke. It's the Trojan horse. They're in our government. You know, they're 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 trying to get in our schools. You know, they've used, they've played on atheists this whole time. They're playing on other organizations out there, you know, to try to have them sway their vote toward their side so that they can do this. Actually, is it? Atheist man, I can say that we can't stand either. <laughs> so uh, I mean, they they're not playing no atheists. Man. Well, they're playing Soros. Yeah. Soros is definitely not no Christian. You a and there's got to be a reason why. If you don't agree with Islam, you're a racist. Yeah. Well, if you don't right, agree with right. Israel, and it's not even a race. anti it's an idea. Man. Yeah, but Soros, don't he? I thought he wanted to pass a bill saying. Same thing could be said uh, about all these. It's a whole broad spectrum. About uh, uh, the whole. Uh, Xenophobic laws. He would have passed xenophobic laws saying you can't discriminate against, you know, Muslims. And I understand the whole thing. Well, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. You know, in France, they 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 had a um, everybody was laid out on the beach, right, in bikinis, and then they had this one girl coming in with a burqa, and the police came up to him and said, "You look, man, you breaking our secular laws." You know what I'm saying? Now, now, I, you know, folks would say, "I love wearing masks. I got all kind of masks." You know what I'm saying? I didn't bring my mask tonight, but my thing is, I'm not going to wear a mask in public, though. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like I'm wearing ski masks. I love ski masks. When I go in the goddamn store with a ski mask, everybody, what are they going to do? Right. They're going to call the cops. The cops are going to come. They're going to shoot me. They can I mean, be a you know? sex slave underneath that burqa, and no one would ever even know, and they can hide it that good. Human trafficking is the number one right. moneymaker. It, it tops drugs by God knows how much. You know, there's there's no telling. i got something to say, though. Um, you know, right. I mean, half the shit we've been talking about, man, it's not going to change till we make a change, you know what I mean? I agree, and I agree. fucking, I mean, it does, it does good talking about it because half these people don't know about it, you know what I mean? Right, they right. open up their minds to the situation. You got people who don't but, care. But we keep, you know, we, we keep talking about it and keep talking about it and it's just kind of like, it's not changing, you know? And, and somehow... People gotta see that it needs to change, and they're not seeing it, man. Yeah, but Delta, I, I would disagree. See, tonight I'm with I'm with GSF. We're having a discussion, but you guys regularly y'all train, so y'all about it. You see what I'm saying? 
Y'all, y'all putting in the work and y'all showing it right. I get called racist. I'm Puerto Rican. Right, 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 right. right. I mean, you know, it. No, you have to be white to be racist. I understand the concept. People have certain perspectives. Oh, a lot of people are racist. Yeah, yeah. You know, but it 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 all boils down to corruption, man. It's it's right there. It's right okay. in our faces, man. Like you can see it every day. You know, it's it, it's a corrupt system, man. It's not gonna change. Mm-hmm. Our infighting does not have us like thirty seconds away from global annihilation. That's the only our thing infighting, our, our internal problems. Yeah, that's our back of uh, the age truck. The governments sure. around the world, you know, they have the mm-hmm. capability mm-hmm. to kill every inhabitant eight oh, times yeah. over. The, the the shit that you gotta worry about, you know, is like people. You know, coming together as people, and then telling the governments, "I don't want to live under the fear or threat of annihilation." Because by and large, people are good people, and when you have bad people, and if they're reading this book and it's kind of, they tend to be more bad than good, then there's there's a problem and there's a remedy there. Well, well that's what I'm saying. This don't allow not only Islam but Christianity and the government. Period. You know what I'm saying? Keep this document the way it is, and we go from there. Because once you talk about, like, personal morals, like I say, I can tell you, oh, God told me to tell everybody in this table, put $1,000 in my bank account. How do you verify that? How do you verify that? Well, this is going on in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia is saying you have violated Allah, I forgot what they call it, but Allah's law, we're going to put you to death. It's like... What? They don't need religion for morals, though. That's the whole thing. Right, exactly, right. I mean, like, I'm atheist, but I, I can walk into a church, and I guarantee you I have more morals than, like, 75% of the people in the church. You know, they're in church for a reason, because they know they're doing immoral stuff, and they feel they need forgiveness from some kind of higher power, you know? Right. You know, I mean, like, last weekend, I was up there feeding the homeless. I'm not Christian, but Jesus taught help those less fortunate you know so i am in a way doing the christian thing inadvertently even though i'm not religious as an atheist can you see the storm clouds brewing with islam and and then trying to sweep the globe i see history repeating itself i see islam doing now what the catholic church did a thousand years ago so as an atheist and a critical thinker you have to but protestants have been running from it the whole time and there's only the planets on the way Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? If a Protestant has been running from the Catholic Church to create America, and now right. they got to run from Islam when the Catholic Church was actually at war with Islam way back in the day. You know, and then here we are sitting as Protestants going, man, we've seen them go to war together for a long time. And then we had to even run from our friend to right. create our whole new nation. And now all of a sudden, the Catholic Church is kind of dumbed down, and Islam is huge. Yeah. All right. You know, Pope they, Francis. Tell me they're not here to kill you. They, I mean... One of my biggest pet peeves with a lot of Christianity, though, and I'm not trying to rag on you or nothing, but um, they like to play the um, victim card a lot, you know? You disagree with, I've met a lot of Christians, you disagree with them. Why are you persecuting me? You're not being persecuted, we're having a debate. I see you know? you believe what you want to believe. <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. <laughs> well, and it's, at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's a belief. Yes. Like I said, I believe in a pink unicorn. Yeah. All right. But I'm not gonna for I'm not gonna kill yeah, you. Exactly. Oh, and because right, you, you don't believe in unicorn, right? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. if you want to, then your religion would be equal. And as a conscientious person, I would say, like or the pink unicorn religion. I think it's a compromise <laughs> by women, but I see that it's going, you know, about it in a in a in a way that's detriment to my life and, and the lives of people that are not. Right. It should never oppose another person's <laughs> lifestyle. That's right. Where it has to begin and end. It's like if your neighbor came over to your house and he's, he's like, he knocks on your door and he walks into your house, right? And he just walks in, opens your fridge, takes out a steak, and he goes back to his house and he says, oh, I can do that because it's my religion. <laughs> you wouldn't feel good about that. Well, I can shoot you in the leg you because that's mean? my religion. <laughs> and, I, and it's funny that we say because that's what Saudi Arabia's doing. Yeah. That's that what they're doing. Our, our allies. Yeah. That's pretty wild, too. It, it is. Yeah. It is. But, um... Gentlemen, we got five minutes. Nice. Damn. Um, y'all want to close out and with any um, you know, any information, uh, opinions on the election about what we discussed. You know, just, just start with you, Chris. We'll go around. 
Awesome. I would just like to uh, defer to the uh, Constitution. Well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. That's what's up. It doesn't matter uh, what we call ourselves. Militia, three percenters, patriots. Defenders. Defenders, um, citizens. Um, we need to come together and focus on you know, retaking our country back from the uh, brink of destruction and use the Constitution as the uh, binding document and get away from division in all groups and all yep. sects. We know there's going to be elements out there, you know, with a different point of view, but overall, um, we have to understand that these, the cycle of government, you know, in a free society lasts, you know, it goes through a 200 year cycle and then it's back to tyranny. I think we're back to tyranny and I think uh, we as free people not, I think not we need to be scared now. about bearing arms, but to take it a step further, you know, oh, are you wearing a mask or, or anything like that? Well, we have the right to bear arms, no doubt, and we should have the freedom to discuss among ourselves as free people how to best come together for our own security when we feel like the uh, government is really, um, I can't put a lot of confidence and trust in the way they're going about securing um, my freedoms, my liberties. I defer to my brothers and sisters in a militia. And, you know, I, I would just say let's uh, you know, unite, come together, and uh, we got channels, uh, pages, information, training. I think this has to be done, especially in this election cycle, if the, if Trump wins, the left will lose their mind. If Hillary wins, the right's going to lose their mind. Nobody can take uh, another minute of any of this crap. So the people need to come together and express um, their point of view. And a militia needs to be there to provide the teeth, as it's written in the Declaration and of Independence and in the Constitution itself to effectuate real change. Pray for it at the ballot box, but be prepared to back it up with your life and and with a group of like-minded people that are prepared to put their lives on the line to uphold this document and our way of life. And two to the chest, one to the head. Two to the chest, one to the head for anybody that opposes. Damn um, right. But I appreciate I appreciate yeah, the time, appreciate Black you, Sun, and yeah. turn it over to... Um, I just want to recap on what he said. I completely agree on the unity thing. We need to stop buying into the media's bullshit. Stop focusing on all this divisional stuff. And it's like the first time me and Chris met. I was like, I don't agree with all your political views. I don't agree with your religious views necessarily either. But we need to focus on what we do agree on instead of focusing on what we disagree on because that's what causes division. And that's pretty much all I have to say on that. All right, all right. Heels on. Honestly, I just want to say, you know, this is awesome. Yeah, you, know, you look around the table here. Yeah. You know, you got atheists, we got Christians, we've got black folks, we've got white folks, we've got Puerto Ricans, you know, no matter what. You know, there is unity in America, and it's being found at this table, you know. Let this be our dinner table, America, and, uh, you know, let's eat from it. You know, the militia's here. You know, we're there. You know, and we're all brothers. That's right. You know, we're all fucking here. You know, right. guns up. Yeah, Glad up. you're here. Glad you know, you're here, blow man. it up. You know, yeah. you. you know, we're here for all of us. You know, we just want to send a formal invite out for anyone that wants to come out. You know, find our page. You know, three percent security force. We're here. Focus up. Come out and see what it's about. We're here. Your friend is not twenty percent your enemy. That's right. You know, if we have enough love here and we can. You know, take this up 30,000 feet and we can show enough love from, from sea to shining sea. The government would starve to death if we start looking out for our own best interests and it would be to their de detriment. I have something to say. Um, you know, these guys were talking about look us up on Facebook, you know, 3% security force. That's a good idea. Look us up, um, get interviewed, 
got a web page. Maybe even join us. You know what I mean? We got a web page too. There's a web page. Um, there's a YouTube page. You can watch some videos. Uh, it's a good move. You know, uh, serve the country, serve your men, serve your family, your friends. Most importantly, you know, um, keep each other close. Just watch each other six all the time. You know what I mean? And it's healthy and a great learning experience. It's definitely, you meet good people, you know. Um, you don't only meet good people, but you make family. You know what I mean? That's we all right. hang out here, we come, we train, we train like family. You know, it's like a big family just training to fight for us, right? Pretty much. Best yeah. thing we have to offer, brotherhood, brotherhood. friendship, yeah. Yeah. camaraderie. Camaraderie. We'll take it up, you know, and we'll, get the we'll build yeah. on that. <laughs> Very family oriented organization and uh it's it's one that I actually uh man, it's been perfect being with them. Every single one of them. So hell yeah. Guns up. Guns, Guns up. up. Yeah. Yeah.